everyone so today i will be making a video of myself giving some study tips and how i managed to become from a failed student to a straight a student SPM. alhamdulillah please watch until the end of the video to see how you can get study templates in pdf format let's go study tip number one good time management is a starting point to succeed in anything that you pursue Maybe some of you might think that good time management involves making a timetable to schedule your days but I know that most of us are inconsistent with that. What I do is that I focus on one to two subjects per day. I don't really plan a specific subject on a specific day. In my mind, I have a goal which is to complete one to two subjects per day. I like to keep it within a range of one to two subjects per day because I feel like I can cover more because I'm able to only focus on a certain subject, especially subjects that I'm weak at. The next tip I have on good time management is that I would plan my day ahead. By planning my day ahead, I would make a to-do list. Whatever it is, in my mind, my goal is to finish those tasks that I plan third tip to have good time management have a target on what time you want to start studying when i was in school i finished school around two o'clock when i come back home i would eat i would shower i would pray i would take a nap maybe and play with my phone but i have to set a goal that by 4 p.m i have to start studying some people also ask how do i manage my time between homeworks and studying well i consider doing the homework as my study session study tip number two Practice a lot of past year papers. You have to get used to the exam format. You have to keep testing yourself at least twice a month. What I did during SPM was that in the last two to three months, all I focused on was doing past year papers. Past year papers, past year papers, past year papers. Get used to the exam format. Because when you're doing exam papers or rechecking it with your teachers, asking tips from your teachers, you are more used to the exam format and you know how to answer different patterns of questions. You should scribble notes by the side of your exam papers. I don't really do like, I don't really do notes that are that pretty or anything. I usually take notes on the exercises and the past year papers that I do because when I scribble notes next to my exercises my brain is able to remember what I learned and also to remember oh this question is actually based on this topic it just makes your brain work smarter and to add on make corrections you should write down the question again and write down the correct answer read it again and again try to understand it give it to your friend and ask your friend to test you on it so that when the questions come up in the exam, you are able to answer it like a pro. Study tip number three, teach your friends. Because when you're teaching your friends, you're also teaching yourself. You are able to recognize what are your weak areas on that certain topic. You are able to understand and remember what you have learned. I always taught my friends maths. I always tested myself on maths. I got an A plus for maths, Alhamdulillah. Study tip number four, I like to refer to YouTube tutors. We are actually so lucky because if we are not able to understand what is being taught in class, we are able to refer back to YouTube, to Google, whatever man, just play around with the sources. Some of the YouTube tutors that I really really love and really recommend is Y equals MX plus C, Cikgu Rohaya Mora, at Mats Kacang. These three teachers teach maths and at maths very well. Study tip number five, go on a social media detox. By social media detox, I don't mean disabling your account and all that. That's just too much work. Just delete the app. Delete it for three to five months. I mean, yeah, it's tempting in the beginning, but you will get used to it. What I did was that I deleted the social medias that I'm very obsessed with, such as Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I deleted those apps for three months. Yeah, in the beginning, I was very tempted to download it back. However, I got used to it. And by the time that I did download it back, I wasn't obsessed with it. I wasn't addicted to it because I was used to it. I was used to living without it. Trust me, it really feels good if you just put away all the distractions. Last but not least, this is very important. Five to seven hours of sleep is important. And by five to seven hours of sleep, I don't mean you sleep at 5 a.m. You wake up at like 12 p.m going to bed before 12 and then waking up in the morning 
Okay, so that's it for my study tips. I hope you all enjoyed that. Ah, I almost forgot. Here are the PDF format study templates that I want to give to you guys, but under a few conditions. Make sure you donate five to 10 ringgit to Ahmad Palestine or Islamic Relief Malaysia. Screenshot the receipt, follow me on Instagram, and send me your receipt. Then you can earn two sets of past year papers trackers, a revision checklist that I will be happy to make for you based on what subjects you take in school or uni, and also a scholarship application tracker, along with a list of scholarships that you can aim for after you have completed pre-university or high school. Thanks for watching. Bye!